All right, let's take a quick peek here at the approach into Stewart. Again, we are shooting New York approach, so 2590 pretty much a straight in, south. runway 27. And it looks to me like we our initial fix there at Malone needs to be at about 3,000. So not a not a lot to adjust here. Sorry, did I call some more time? Solaris. I'm gonna go Solaris. ahead. Solaris 2590. Solaris 2590. Uh, New York approach. Good afternoon. You can expect the 9995. Yep. <laughs> the Stewart, and the we'll go ahead and just put Stewart that in right now. Oh, sorry, guys. I don't know if I got that muted in time. <laughs> now, he sees my remarks, and so I might very well be cleared for the visual 27. I do have in my remarks that I'm forced VFR weather, and... So we're ready for both, I guess. We can we can definitely fly the ILS if we need to, or we can fly that visual. November one one eight one six. You can make straight in approach runway two seven. Straight in runway two seven. November one one eight one six. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn the prop sync off. Have information November on board. A firm, we have November one one eight one six. We're going to go ahead. We would, uh, at this point in time, we'd be putting the pressurization to descend. But again, we're only 6,500, so I don't think that's doing anything to us right now. Altimeter is set. Exterior lights are on. We kept them on the entire way here just because we never got above 10,000. Radios and nav are set. Flaps to go. And we can extend flaps below 181. How far out are we? We are 28 miles, and we'll keep our speed up here for about another 8 miles, and we'll start slowing it down. Yep, the return flight. We're going to turn the weather on and try to grab an IFR flight back into Plymouth. Take advantage of the uh, controller that we've got in there right now, Mr. Mike Sinante, a.k.a. Jet Pilot Cinnamon, a.k.a. the founder of the Virtual USA Flying Club. And we'll give him a little work. We'll make him earn his money today. And we'll check out the anti-icing capabilities of this bad boy. We'll probably climb up a little higher, see if we can, I don't know if we'll be able to get up and over the top of it or not, but maybe... Maybe heading back, like at about 17,000, maybe. See if we can get that. It's such a short flight. I don't know how high they'll let us go. 210 would be cool. We'll just file it and see, I guess. Yeah, we probably have to stay 17,000 because we'll be on a low airway. At 22 miles. Both DMEs are showing that. Hey, Nate, can you hear me on frequency? Negative. I cannot hear anyone on frequency. All right, then your comms are bugged because I'm talking to the other crap just fine. Yeah, I figured it was my setup. Thanks for confirming. Yeah. All right, there's about 20 miles. Let's go ahead. We'll slowly start to pull the uh, power back here. And we need to get ourselves in flap range. I wonder if he's out. That's Kenny Monster, the Solaris. I wonder if he's out in front of us here. It kind of sounds like he might be. Solaris 2590, flying 270. Uh, heading 270, Solaris 2590. I'll be vectors for the approach. Actually, no, he's behind us. Now that I look on. Fantastic. So we won't slow down too much here. Uh, 
November 11816, we have the field. 11816, Roger, you can contact the tower now on. One, two, one, nothing. 21 zip. Can you contact the tower now on uh, 120, correction, 121.0. 121.0, 1, 2, 1. 0, November 11816, see ya. All right, we're coming in here. We're going to go ahead and just uh, fly the plane in. Did you hear me that time, Nate? Negative. Fine, so you're just not receiving. That's Pretty much problem. straight in here. That's Stuart Tower. Good afternoon, Cheyenne, November 11816, on the approach runway 27. 11816, Stuart Tower, wind 2705, runway 27, clear to land. 27, clear to land, 11816. Okay, I gotta get my speed. There we go, we're below 180 now. So I can start to configure I'm a little bit high up here. I'm gonna throw a notch of flaps in. We'll just start to kind of slow down. It's 12 miles out, so still plenty of time. Get on the ground here at Stewart. We are going to be Squawk and VFR. Squawk and VFR one one eight one six. Stewart Tower, radio check. Black clear five by five, how many? Um, we want to. Nope. We no want to. to we got to take a left. Right creeks, sending on the right radio. Uh, is your comm panel in the aircraft that you're flying, do you have it so that the HUD's highlighted on COM 1? Like, do you have it, the button clicked in the plane? Yeah, I've tried both COM 1 and COM 2. All right, let's see here. Prop sync off, pressure position, all that set. Flaps are coming in here. We would like to, we could put the gear down at 150. So we're in that range. <clears throat> uh, VREF is 104. I'd like to bring it in about the blue line here. server on the network. And some of the VATSIM servers have been acting a little funky today. We have approach and we have landing flap configuration it's here, so it's kind of what I have left here. And we're a little aggressive on this glide here, but kind of just trying to get ourselves down onto the uh, happy pappies here as they were. A thousand feet's not too. Not too radical. And we are clear to land, so we'll go ahead and put the gear down. <coughs> Excuse me. Here comes our speed. Love a little blue line approach here, I think. That'd be great. Stuart Tower, radio check. How do you hear me? And he's transmitting and not receiving. That's frustrating. I don't know why you're bugged, but you're bugged. Dang. Yeah, it's going to make it hard to fly, isn't it? Um, uh, notify ATCs and do a quick disconnect, reconnect. Yeah, I've done that and I've tried a different server too. Try a different airplane. Maybe the only last, the last thing. Yeah, I'll reload it and see what happens. You guys maybe have tried this already, but sometimes I'll, like, my device will get uh, bumped back to the default on my settings on Xpilot 2. Yeah, I confirmed I've got the right output device. Good call, because that's happened to me like. <laughs> I was about to do it. I was about to do a land on the taxiway thing here. Let's. How about we go over and <laughs> find the runway? Yeah, that's that's got me more often than than I can even I can even tell you. It's 
So yeah, left hand turn will come back toward this side of the field actually and the GA ramp is kind of right next to the passenger terminal. This is unfortunately just a default airport so I don't I think it's probably going to be rendered okay but won't have anything fancy fancy schmancy okay final notch of flaps are in a little bit of a bubble there speeds dropping a little let's put some power in here back on the descent and yeah, I'm starting to get starting to level off I don't want to do that don't want to do that there we go back on the blue Ain't gonna be a little long on this one boys and girls unfortunately that's okay to dive quite so aggressively here. Nice long runway. We well, it doesn't matter if we roll on down. That's fine. I know we're full deflection at this point. We should be on the missed approach, but we're just going to try to get her on down. There is our friend Jet Pilot Cinnamon. He's the one that's uh, taking notes and uh, telling me that I should be going around right now because he sees four whites. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll be okay. This is just a little bit of a warm-up for the Bush League backcountry fly-in there, Mike. That's all I'm trying to do, just get ready, ready for that. All right, a little slow, a little splashy here. I should be reffing at about 105. Kind of mat there, right there. Yep, going to be a little long, but I think we'll be okay grand scheme of things. Gosh dang, come on down, boy. Come on down, please. Ugh, that was a th that was a thuddy, boy. Thuddy thuddy landing. All right, well. Ugh. Hey. Five by about time. <laughs> Alpha Charlie to the ramp. Alpha Charlie to the ramp. November one one eight one six.